Now, Lynn, uh, it, it seems like, you know, some emergencies and hard times befell this couple right here. How should somebody prepare for that? So the best thing you can do to prepare for a financial setback is to save as much as you can, but when you lose an income, reduce everything. Eat beans, get coupons, cut out all of your expensive friends. Those kind of things, yeah. right? There is. Okay, so you bought a new home, right? And then you got injured and you're off work. You fall behind on your bills and then you had to sell your house. Okay, so how did that affect you? It put us in debt. We had to short sell a house. Uh, we didn't know too much about the market, so it really broke us even. Um, I had to run through my 401k and my stock, and on top of that, we got our car repossessed. Darius, you let them take your car. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, listen to me, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Never, ever let the car get repoed. Lynn, how would you explain that debt to us? Um, right now, you're in a position where you've got about $1,200 in income coming in. I had them do an income and expense spreadsheet, and you've got about $1,700 in bills going out. Unfortunately, what's happened, so many things have just escalated. Right now, they've got about a $16,000 debt for a car that they do not own. There are $10,000 in medical bills, and then there's another $9,000. Oh, because of his injury? Yes, okay. and then another $9,000 in attorney's fees. So right now, there's about $50,000 in debt. So, but, now, let, but let me say this, though. Yeah. They're in a real predicament here. Absolutely. You know, you can't uh, have 17 go out and 12 come Absolutely. in. Absolutely. The truth is, there's something called bankruptcy. And the forefathers of this country thought it was so important, right along with God. Bankruptcy is in the Constitution and the Bible, okay? <laughs> so, what my belief is, what my recommendation is, is that you file bankruptcy. It is better to file bankruptcy, to get a clean slate, to start over rebuilding your credit. You can get a house within a year. You can get a car immediately. You can build your life again. And you don't have the stress of all these debts and bills coming after you. Let me ask you this, though. What would their finances look like after you file in bankruptcy? Because a lot of people don't know how this works. So after you file bankruptcy, how does your finances look? After you file bankruptcy, right now, they've got about $50,000 in debt. After you file bankruptcy, $48,000 of that is going to go away. You'll have about $1,500 that you owe. File bankruptcy and then start to rebuild your life all over again. So, bankruptcy... <laughs> bankruptcy, in your estimation, is not the big, dark cloud that a lot of people think of if you do it. Now, sh when you file bankruptcy, should you get a lawyer? Absolutely. To do it the right way. Absolutely. Okay. Do not do it yourself. Don't go to Office Max and get the paperwork. There are a lot, yeah, there are a lot of intricacies. So you won't have any other debt. So you may as well go on and pay an attorney to file the bankruptcy. Most attorneys will take a small down payment and then they'll put the other fees inside the bankruptcy. It's, it's hard because poverty creates no options. Yeah. Yes. At least, you know, you hear people say, more money, more problems. That's a true statement. But at least when you got money, you have yes. an option. Yes. Yeah. You, have a, you, you can all... You know the thing about money does? Money takes all emergencies and turns them into mere inconveniences. Yes. The key yes. Is, to, is to get some money. You, how you feel okay about that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think y'all gonna be fine. Okay. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.